towards the bottom, corporate communications. Uh, for this example, I'll pull up something for, let's say, uh, let's say I want to put a, a sign in my lobby that's got general information. So here I, I clicked, uh, selected my template, pulled it up here. In the middle, we've got our layout. On the left, we've got our widgets. What is a widget? A widget is basically a component that you can add to your screen. So it's a, like a form of, say, media, images, video, slideshow. I should cover that shortly. Uh, and then on the right are the properties. So firstly, I'm going to give it a name. So underneath creative properties on the right, click on name. We'll call it lobby sign. Then I can save it. Let's first save it there. Once saved, it will actually enable me to preview it. Uh, so if you are you know, working from a template, definitely suggest you preview the template, kind of see what it does, the different zones and the movement, and then you can work from there. So let's hit preview. And it's going to load up here. So I've got my slideshow in the upper right. I've got a scrolling news ticker on the bottom. News ticker can be customized as well. So you can pull it from, say, CNN. Uh, if you've got local news, uh, if you, you want to pull it maybe from ESPN, doesn't matter. On the left, we've got announcements. That can be customized as well. So you can set it to go scrolling up and down, left to right. Uh, then we've got a, another section here that's got general information and time and date. Now, let's say we want to customize it and change this around. We like the layout but we want to tweak it, customize it so that it fits, you know, my, my needs. So I'll click the X takes me back here. So to get started, let's say this background, we don't like the background. So I'm gonna click on the background, hit delete on the right. Creative properties it says fill. The fill button is basically your background, your color. So maybe I want to change the background to a blue. I can put a color so it's a gradient and kind of shades. If I needed to maybe get a specific color code, got the ability of copy and pasting a color code in here so I get an exact number. There's also a color palette so you can create a color. So now I've got my blue, changed it. Now it says your logo, so let's get rid of that, hit delete. So to add something new, my widgets are on the left. So let's say I want to start and upload my logo. So I've got this little widget that says image. So I'm going to click on that, drag it to the canvas. Here, I can upload my files. So if I hit the upload button, I can pull it right from my computer. So I've got my desktop. I'm going to click on an image, hit open the media uploads. All of the content and information that you upload to the media library is saved in the cloud so you can access that at a different time whenever you need. So now I'm uploading my image. I've got it uploaded. I want to put that on the screen. Click on it. Hit insert. So let's say for example you wanted to have a logo. Let's say this is my logo. I just click drag it. I can also resize it so I can make something as big as I want, make it smaller. Very nice, simple. Want to get rid of this, click it, delete it. Maybe I wanted to get rid of that, delete it, delete it. And so I can rework it and fit it to have the exact look and feel that I want. So I just made this box bigger by clicking it, dragging it up. This announcements box, I want to move that up. Now let's say I wanted to add some information into the announcements. So on the left, I've got this widget says ticker. Ticker is going to be your scrolling news, announcements, text, whatever you'd like. So I click on the ticker, drag it onto the canvas, and then I'm going to resize it. So I want it to fit right here and I'll just make it there we go so on the right are the properties wanted to add something new a new message so I'm gonna hit the plus then I'll give it title I'll call it company lunch it's Friday at 9 
npm. Okay. I'm going to add one more. Training today at 3 p.m. And below it, it says display. Speed, direction, title, spacing. Speed is how fast it's moving. So I'll move that to, up to an 8. Direction is how it's scrolling. So right now, I'm going to set to go to scroll up. I'm going to change that to go down. Uh, format. That's the color, font size. So if I wanted to change it, it's black, it's hard to see. So maybe let's change that to, uh, let's say red. So our, our header is red, hit okay, hit okay. I'm gonna change this text below that to, let's say red, hit okay. Then I can change the size as well, make it bold, unbold, italic. You can also change the font. There we go. Hit OK. So now I've got some text. And now maybe I wanted to change the zone right here. Get rid of the slideshow. Click on it, delete, innovation, delete that section, delete it. And I wanted to maybe add some things, move it around. So here it says YouTube. That's a widget. So I'm going to click on my YouTube widget, drag it onto the screen. I can size it. So let's say we have a playlist, a company playlist with welcome videos, product training videos, whatever you got. You wanted to get it on the screen. So on the right, it says YouTube URL. So I'm going to copy and paste my YouTube URL there, and it would populate there. If there's a playlist, you just copy and paste your playlist. And there's our YouTube widget. Very simple, straightforward. So once the screen's up and running, it would stream to YouTube. If we don't want it, maybe we changed our mind, we want to get rid of that, and delete. Other widgets that we have available, uh, video widget, there's a slideshow widget. Let's show that. So if I click slideshow, I'm going to drag it on. Then I can resize it. So we've got it filled right in the middle. On the right are the properties for it. So if I wanted to upload my images for the slideshow, I'm going to hit the image. Then I've got my images here. Again, if I wanted to add stuff, I simply hit the upload button and I can upload my media. Uh, all of the standard files are sufficient, meaning PNG, JPEG, PowerPoint slides, Word documents, whatever you got, you'd upload them. So for right now, we'll just do these three. So I check them off, hit insert. And then on the right, you'll notice it says 10, 10, 10. That's 10 seconds. So I wanted to change it to play for five seconds each. So each piece will play for five seconds. There we go. So now I want to change the order. Let's say the template here put that up to play first, I got my arrows. So if I push it up, it changes it so that that's the first sequence. I can change it down. Very simple, straightforward. So now let's say we wanted to add weather. No problem. Weather widget on the left. And notice when you put your mouse over the widgets, it will say what the widget is. So here, YouTube, Ustream, weather, clock, countdown, shapes, web page. So let's start with weather. So I click on weather, drag it onto the screen, and then I'm going to move it right there. On the right, again, are the properties. So if I wanted to change it, so I click on location, search location, Chicago, hit OK. Uh, let's do Chicago, Illinois. Be specific. There it is. Then I can change the type, so Fahrenheit. Title format, again, that's how you change the color, the font size, style. I'll put that at red. Make it bold. Hit OK. Uh, content says conditions, visibility, humidity. If I don't want to display those, I just uncheck it. There it is. And then I can resize it. 
So let's put that right there. Then we wanted to maybe add our clock. Click on the clock, drag it. On the right, you can adjust the time zone, how it's displayed, the text size, the color as well. Very simple. Now let's say we wanna see how it looks. I'm gonna hit save and I can preview it once it's saved. So once I've hit the preview button, we've got a nice clip example of the layout that we just built. Notice here, upper right, our weather, we've got our slideshow, on the left are our announcements, and the bottom is our news feed. And uh, let's, you know, we notice maybe we wanna change some things around. So I'm gonna click the X, takes me back here. Once here, um, let's go further into it and maybe uh, let's, let's customize some additional things. So let's say, for example, this news feed. Uh, you know, we don't like the color. Uh, we want to change where it's coming from. So I'm going to click on our news widget. And I'll first cover how did we get that there. So on the left, so widget, RSS. So I'm going to click on that, drag it back down here. Once it's there, then I can resize it and fill it. So go here, and then I'm gonna drag it over. On the right are the properties. It says URL. So if I click the drop down, there are some options, CNN. We can have it pulled from BBC, CNBC, Fox. So let's change it to BBC. If you wanted to customize it, maybe pull from a local RSS news feed, um, you can pull any RSS widget, doesn't matter. Um, all you need is the URL and you paste that right here. Uh, you can also change uh, the speed and direction of the ticker, similar to the scrolling ticker. Um, so I'm gonna change the speed to maybe nine. Direction, I'm gonna have it scroll left. Then we've got the color. So if I scroll down, I've got title. Format, so I'm going to change that to maybe a uh, red, and I can change the font. Uh, just do Tahoma. There we go. Hit OK. Then we got the subtext. We'll change that color to white. Change the font again. Maybe I want that. Alec, hit OK. Then we can change the backdrop. So it says appearance fill. I'm going to hit that button and I changed it to solid blue. If you wanted some, opa some transparent opacity, I can adjust the layering as well. I'll hit OK. There we go. Now let's say we wanted to add. Um, a couple more things here, break it down. So on the bottom, I'm going to click on the announcements so that the zone would be smaller and maybe I wanted to add an image right here. So I'm just going to make this box a little bit smaller. There we go. Then I've got image or videos. And we'll start with, let's just say a video. So I'm going to click and drag. Again, upload your files, you hit the upload button. So I'm gonna hit upload, and then I can pull it as far as the videos and the file formats. Um, we would suggest doing MP4s as far as the videos that will get you the best quality uh, for, for video type. Here, I'm just trying to find a video here. I've got my video, I'm gonna hit open. So it uploads the video to the cloud. Uh, the nice thing is all of the files that you do upload, they do, uh, again, store locally in your cloud. And if you do need more storage, it says you are using three megabytes of your 80. 80 megabytes is the included with the, with the trial. So if you do need more, you would simply hit get more storage and you can purchase more. With the paid account, uh, you get a total of 500 megabytes for your storage. 
since the video that I was trying to upload was bigger than the 80, would not allow me. But either way, I'll just close it. Um, so I'll just add an image for right now. So here we go. Here's my image. I'm going to hit insert. And then if I wanted to resize it, there we go. Very simple. Save. Done. All right. So now let's say I have my template put together and I want to schedule it. Uh, to do that, I'm going to hit the X button and it takes me back to my page. Creative. So here it says lobby sign. That's what we just made. In the next video, I'll show you how to schedule your content to play using the playlist tab.